Rollerific. Hello, and this is Big Bang Bot, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Spider with Grand Fans Battle for Bikini Bottom, or me play. Wait, did I say Big Bang Bot? Well, if I did, I meant Big Bang Bot. Stupid me. I had to collect that stupid sock again. But anyway, I still have one other level to do in, or to play, or to go to. Oh, I just hate the word to, and I hate the word do. Okay, I don't really hate the, I don't hate the word to too much, but I do hate the word do a lot. Anyway, I'm going to enter the police station and arrest some people. Nino, Nino, Nino. And this is the robot viewer. And basically with this, you've got to put all the robots in the game. It just tells you about all of them. I'm still missing five. Ah, Chuck. I hate you so much. Is there a sock in this place? Because I don't know. I honestly don't know. And hopefully there's a guide online which tells you where all the socks are. I'll look for that once I've done everything else, and then I'll fight the final boss, and then it will all be done. Maybe. But now I need to go and find Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Oh, Barnacles. I like barnacles. They're very barnacly. Barnacly. Wow! They're barnacles. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, my heroes! Hit me with a water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. No. Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. That sounds lame. Is that the TV repairman? No. No. It's that excited sponge kid again. Oh. Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? No, Bob! Well, SpongeBob does. Okay, then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on this. What? SpongeBob is <laughs> as light, is uh, as enthusiastic as he could be. Down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Yeah. Wait, what did he say? This is a Bikini Bottom news update. We're getting I thought the TV the was broken. The robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. I don't know where any socks are. Because I just don't. I didn't mean to do that. This is the TV repair kid again. Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd be going fast. Yeah, my man is weird. Very weird. But anyway, 
I'm gonna head to the next level. And look at this cutscene. Oh no! That was odd. That was a bit odd. I don't know why people speed run the GameCube version. Because, at least to me, it doesn't seem like the load times are any faster than the PS2 version. And I don't really notice any frame rate issues in the PS2 version. Maybe just that the GameCube version has a few exclusive glitches, I don't know. Maybe it's just because everyone bought the GameCube version. Well, except for me and Stimpy Land, of course. Say hello to my little bubble friend. But everyone else bought the GameCube version. <laughs> well, it feels like that. Just like the Sonic games. They made me an Barnacle Boy. Why does it sound like Spongebob wants to do some evil things with them? You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... Stop talking about goosebumps. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes! A bunch Whoa. of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. I thought you were. Because it's Thursday and we have. And I thought you were retired. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Or how I say it, to the doctor's office and beyond! Go see the comp- Okay, thank you for talking about your computer. These don't really do anything except for give you a few- Except that they give you a few shiny things. Ooh! It's the disco floor. Don't step on the red bits. That's all I can say. I would use that, but I'm actually going to hit it this way. And then hit him. Don't hit that. Okay. Cha-ching! I just wanted to see what happened. I just wanted, no, I just wanted to try and get over there. Wait, is it there again? Yep. Yeah, die! You must die! I only just recently got back into YouTube poops. I mean, there was one time back when I was younger, at like the age of 11, I guess, where I love YouTube poops. I would watch them a lot. And while I hate my 11 year old self, I do understand why I love them so much. And then there was a long period where I stopped watching them. His name is R. That's funny. I'm not gonna hit him in his R because his R is disgusting. He's a robot after all.
there will be glitches here. And you might be able to stand on them, but I don't think that'll help me right now. Yeah, mega combo! The game wants me to use my bubble blow, but do I really need it? Well, I might as well use it. I have to hit it this way. Come on! There we go. I have not planned my route out. I'm just... All I know is I'm going to use the glitch. A glitch to get to the boss. Yeah, it can be used to press buttons. Or I can use this to hit the button. Actually, no, I can't. This place is programmed weirdly. Yeah! Ultra Combo! Thanks for saving the game, I guess. But right now, I'm trying more interesting things. You can't stand on these things. Now I'll try it here. It's probably going to be useless. I haven't found a single sock yet. Which is interesting. The Mermelair. Squidward, yeah, I'm happy to see you. And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been okay, yeah, he the looks geriatric duo. Unhappy. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. You're lazy, Squidward. Oh, look at this place. I mean, please. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's, that's easy. a good in question. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Yeah, never mind! Squidward doesn't care. And in this level, you get to play as Patrick! Yay! Even though Patrick is my least favourite character in the game, but that's just my opinion. Yeah! Gotta hit this guy. Yeah, I'm getting the checkpoint just because I want to be safe. Now 
Now I just gotta hit that. Oh my god, SpongeBob, that wasn't very nice. Left wall jump activate. I don't know what you're thinking. Is it possible to get over there right now? Well, I guess so. Ha! I just proved to you that you can. Is it possible to get up here now? I don't think so. Although, I wonder if I can get back. No, I probably can't. It's interesting that I got here. No, I've just got to, you know, commit suicide. And the game just teleported me here for whatever reason. The game doesn't know what I'm doing, so it teleports me to somewhere where it thinks it should take me. Now this is where you're supposed to use Patrick and throw a watermelon to the switch. And yeah, you do need that switch. Hello, mermaid man. I can't even talk to him. Yes, I can. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? It happened since, he, since the day. Oh, come on. I don't know if there's a way to get up there without paying for that, but if there was... I got a duck. Wait, what, what's the job? The top, all you have to do is throw... You gotta do dish puzzle. First try. It's the talent. All you have to do is throw one. Is that what you wanted me to do? The press that switch. By the way, what did that switch do? This is a bit more interesting. So that's why I'm going to do it the easy way. Sort of. Actually, it's the less time consuming way. In a way. Wait, where is it? That 
was interesting. I just gotta try again. Did it hit that? No. Man, this car is tough. It's really tough. I don't remember it being this hard. So rewarding! You did it! Now I can get some sleep! But I thought you wanted to watch the TV! I don't know. The TV doesn't look fixed. I won't throw that at him. No, I'll throw it at that. Hey, I know you. You're that guy. What guy? I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh, wait. What? Pants. Now listen up. That's there are weird. Eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I would just start turning those cylinders. He was watching Squidward. So that's interesting. Join me next time where I will do some switch business. Business.